in some of our brothers who are poor, instead of helping them to get a job, we have always made them to be dependent on us. To say that, I'll give you 100 grants, don't bring back the change, but we have never helped them to come out of that poverty. Actually, we're enjoying that we're having these two boys who are always running around us. Yeah. Like, there are some guys that I know. I saw you five years ago, there was this boy running around you. That boy is still in the same state, but when I look at you, you have moved. You've got influence and wealth, you've got friends who know friends. You've never even on a single day made a call. And say, I'll you how man I'll cry, you have to hire one. You can't go <laughs> you don't turn in his spine. Actually, majority of the guys, especially within the movement, those of us, our Zawalazi, these guys were always driving us when we go to January 8 and other places. Their lives never improve. Yeah. Actually, they are sustained by little things that we give them all the time. But we would rather buy them alcohol than to help them. Yeah to improve their lives and have a breakthrough. I want to challenge all of us to say the truth. around you, don't argue in the manual, I was more than jail. What is it that you have done? Yeah. Actually, why is the rate of unemployment amongst white people so low? It's not because they are educated, you know they've got metric, man. These white people are not educated. I give you the report to us. We see their CVs. Somebody made a call. And said, Wong scammed coming there. <laughs> but some of us as black people, as a pastor, you'd rather have these ushers running behind you carrying your things in church. As a politician, you'd rather have this boy buying alcohol so that we can know we all over the night. But you never raise a finger to make sure that you open doors for this person so that their life can be better. Who do you pay fees for? Do you pay their fees?